Hey, what's up guys, Nate here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're checking out the brand new Vintage Vault 4 from UVI. Now it's no secret I'm a big fan of the UVI stuff. I've covered loads of it on the channel already. Uh, we've actually covered Vault, Vintage Vault 3 in the past as well. And uh, so this is the next kind of iteration. All the new instruments that they've been putting together are now included in this bundle. Uh, some of them I've covered on the channel, some of them I've actually worked on presets for as well. Uh, we're going to take a look at all the new stuff that's featured in this bundle and take a listen to some of the sounds. Let's check this out. Right, so there's a total of eight new instruments included in this bundle. If you guys have been following this before, you'll know kind of the setup here. We're talking about sampled libraries that run inside of UVI Workstation or Falcon. Uh, many of them kind of follow the same sort of design principles as well. These sort of uh, solo instruments have a sort of two um, sample layer setup with a filter, appreciators, effects, and all sorts of stuff. We'll get into those. Some of the new additions, though, are the Groovebox-esque instruments that they've got. The first one, which we covered a while back on the channel, is the Program 24. Uh, this one's kind of classic Ital Disco kind of sounds that you'll get out of this. And this is, of course, uh, based on the Program 24. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like. So you get a lot of these kind of pre-made rhythms and uh, grooves going on here. And this again, this is kind of a design that flows through all of these uh, four instruments that we have here. Uh, you have control over the bass elements, in this case, organ strings, accompaniment one, two, and three. And then your drum setup as well, uh, where you can load up different patterns and things. I don't use these a whole lot in my own projects, but they are really great for kind of just getting some ideas going. And if you're into this kind of retro sound, there's a ton of uh, really really cool usable stuff in here uh, if you're not if you're not into this kind of groove box thing most of these actually allow you to grab these single instruments as well so you'll have a setup here for the drums the bass strings etc we can load up just the strings and you'll have various presets available to you here So again, with these Groovebox plugins, we've got the Emulation 2 Plus. I've covered this one as well uh, over at Sonic Academy, so you can go check that one out in detail. Uh, again, you've got a drum section and four different layers that you can put in. These ones can actually be switched between uh, different instruments as well. So the Emulation uh, Emulator 1, Emulator 2, and the Emulator 3. There you go. Different instruments that you can load up with different interfaces. And once again, you can switch between the different layers and drums. Again, some really classic sounds going on here. This one's got a really nice section of uh, iconic 80s tracks that they've kind of remixed into this. And then, of course, you've got all the uh, separate presets in here. Uh, tons of them here, for example. We've got strings. You can load up the drums separately as well, if you prefer, as kits. Right, uh, let's check out the other one, Super 7. Again, one that we've covered on the channel. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. Uh, we'll just take a listen to what this sounds like. Great for sort of 80s sounding synthwave stuff again. I actually did some presets for as well. So one of the brand new additions is the Hybrid 6000. This one is completely new. I believe this is based on a Casio HT6000 and again, it's an 80s, 90s classic this. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that you can expect from this. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, so we do have a number of vintage drum kits already available in 
Vintage Vault 3 in the form of Beatbox Anthology, which is kind of a huge collection of classic drum machines. Um, but you've guys gone and done a, a new version uh, called Prime 8 Plus, which obviously is a 808 um, recreation. It's sample based again with uh, a brand new interface. Now we do have an 808 kit in Beat Anthology as well, but I really did kind of appreciate the new interface that they've built here. Uh, I like the old style um, programming on this. Uh, we can take a listen to what this sounds like. So classic 808, but your programming is now done in sort of more typical 808 style. You've also got controls over the various drum hits, just as you would on the original hardware. To program, for example, we've got our bass drum selected. You can flick between two different pages, and then you also have 32 steps in total. One click for full volume, double click for a half volume or half velocity. And let's take a listen. flick between the next steps and then from there you can select your snare for example pretty straightforward but I, I really appreciate this new uh, interface that they've got here. Uh, on top of that, there's a ton of presets in here which are quite heavily processed. They actually make use of the effects in the actual effects tab in UVI Workstation. Uh, Falcon as well, you have control over all of these effects. You can also add in a ton of stuff. Uh, even in the free version, you have all of these effects at your disposal. Uh, and rather than add those into the interface themselves, um, they are actually attached to the presets. So if we go in here, we can check out stuff like uh, the heavily processed ones. So there you have it, it's like some quite different sounding kits from this 808 from uh, quite a lot of processing. I'll flick over to the effects again, you can see UBI Destructor on there. Let's get into the last three instruments. So PX Memories, which is of course the memory mug. Uh, up until now, this has been one of my favorite libraries uh, from this bundle. I have covered this before, we'll take a listen to what it sounds like. So this kind of follows the same design principles as a lot of these synths in the old Vintage Vault collection. And very quickly, I'll just cover this again. If you are not familiar with these, you've got two sample layers. Uh, you can select your samples from here for each of those layers. Each of those layers has a filter that it passes through with a attached ADSR envelope. Uh, you have a uh, envelope for the amplitude as well. You can edit these both at the same time here yeah, with the A plus B, or you can edit them separately. I've also got the edit page here, which gives you control over pitch, voicing, monophonic, so, so forth. Uh, you've got some options for stereo widening, a unison, an alternate uh, mode that will switch between the left and right. Uh, we've got a mod page here uh, with a step modulator, some LFOs, which can be assigned to pitch, volume, filter. So there's a fair amount of editability here for a uh, sample library, and it's it's very quick and easy to use. Of course, if you bring this into Falcon, you can do a lot more tweaking as well. Um, but let's uh, let's move on from PX Memories. Like I said, we have covered this a fair amount before. We look at the last two, and these ones I have not spent too much time with. They are kind of brand new to me. This one was released a little while ago, um, but I haven't had the opportunity to play around with this yet. So this is based on the Joe Mox Sun synth. I was aware of this synth, but I've never actually played with one. Uh, and I've got to say, from what I've heard so far, the presets in this are really gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. 
gorgeous sounding pads there. So you can kind of get a feeling for this. It's got quite a unique sounding tone, this. And this is one of the things that I love so much about this library, is the stuff that you find in here is not your typical um, synths that have been done to death before. Um, let's take a look at the last one. This one I was actually really impressed with. This is another synth that I was unfamiliar with. This is based on the Krumar Bit 99, a rather obscure piece of kit, this. But I've got to say, from what I've heard with this one as well, I really like the presets that they've got on offer here. Uh, we're going to take a look first. I will go through one of the uh, ops first. <laughs> And again, you've got the same setup here, all different UIs, but they're all based around this two-layer setup again. I really like some of the stuff in this animated chord step category. Once again, we'll check out the pads as well. Right, so there we have it. We're not going to spend too much time going through these, but I wanted to kind of give you an overview of what to expect in this new bundle. If you are an owner of Vintage Vault 3, then you're probably somebody like me that really enjoys these sample libraries. And then I would say uh, it's a no-brainer to pick this up. If you are new to the UVI stuff and you're interested in picking this up, uh, it is going to be an intro offer, I believe. I think it's $399 uh, in the beginning, and then it'll go up to $599, I think the price is for this. It's a it's a reasonably large investment for uh, for these. Um, however, if you consider that we're talking around 300, 350 gigabytes of libraries here, it's an enormous collection of samples. Now, do you need all of those samples? Absolutely not. Um, I mean, I, I've 
probably even have, haven't even listened to half of the presets here, but I will say it brings me immense joy playing these, uh, even when they're not being utilized in actual work that I'm doing, although I do use a lot of these. Um, but I just, I, I really like the, the quality of the samples here, and um, they just, uh, they've got such a great feeling. They really kind of convey the essence of the original hardware for me personally. Um, so I, I really enjoy playing around with these, and I would absolutely say if you are into these kind of retro slash 80s slash uh, obscure classic synthesizers definitely this is one that you should be adding to your list right i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little overview of vintage fault and i will see you guys soon on the channel cheers